Okay, boys, going down. Hello, 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 and welcome. Welcome to my kitchen on Thursday evening at 7.30 p.m. with a short vlog uh, cooking with Anna. Welcome to my kitchen. My name is Anna Krejci. I'm owner and founder of Surroundings Polish Pottery. And today we are going to make ketchup. Hello, Loretta. Hello, Edita. So what comes to mind, mind when we are uh, saying word ketchup? First of all, it's super duper funny word. I love it. <laughs> hello, hello, Kimberly, Cindy and Barbara. Welcome, hello, hello, hello. Welcome everyone. Um, so um, historically, ketchup, a uh, first ketchup made, uh, made by uh, Henry Haynes in um, in uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania in 1868, I believe, um, was uh, uh, called a uh, cut soup. Uh, why cut soup? Well, uh, originally, before the ketchup was presented as a, a thick and red um, paste uh, coming from the bottle, uh, ketchup was a pretty nasty thing. Who knows? What was originally ketchup called? What, what was called ketchup originally? Hello, Claudia, tomatoes. Yes, 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 Trudy. And hello, Miss Saya. Julie, welcome, serdecznie. I have your favorite. I love this apron. Look like a dress, right? You, you really can go with confidence from your kitchen if you serve, if you have lots of people. And then when you're done, you can take it off. It's Polish mountains. Um, uh, Polish mountains design and you can find them on the surroundings Polish pottery. Hello, hello Anna. So who know what was the first ketchup is pretty interesting, very, very interesting. So I am going to put link to our app in here for all of you guys who don't have it yet. Um, and um, covers everything, that's right. Uh, but um, for all of you who are going to be shopping with me uh, today, uh, if you, I, I pick uh, items which we don't have been using in here in our uh, cooking block, uh, you're going to get 20% in store credit within two hours from finishing this live sale, so don't worry. Uh, but you also, if you're going to purchase from the live sale from uh, uh, today, you're going to get a print recipe of ketchup, of homemade ketchup. So I am super, super excited. So I just gonna tell you um, in a second as we're gonna be starting uh, cooking um, because we have, um, this is pretty uh, pre-prepared uh, show and tell. Uh, so I gonna tell you what the ketchup was originally if anybody not gonna beat me to it. Uh, so what we're gonna need, the, the, um, the start of the night, the start of the evening, uh, are tomatoes, of course. And I was really, really blessed with uh, uh, beautiful tomatoes uh, from my friend, a uh, garden. Those are actually the smallest one and only two, which uh, stays and just were getting red. Uh, she uh, cross-pollinate big boy and German. So she called them German boy. And they are very meaty, very, very good. So. I have a big pot, one of my larger pots from my set. And hello, Chris, witam serdecznie. And what I did, I pre-cut all my tomatoes. They were like Roma tomatoes. So I basically cut them in half on, on the quarters. If they have um, all the ends I cut off, I leave them, I leave uh, my, um, um, the skin on. And all the, um, all the uh, cores, when they were very pr uh, pronounced, I kind of cut them off as well. Hello, Danny. Hello, hello, hello. So I hope everybody are excited about making ketchup. So this is a lot of tomatoes. It was like all bags full of tomatoes. So big, big bag, um, uh, um, 
pot of tomatoes. I have no water, they have enough of juice, and what I gonna do, and it's no salt, just cut tomatoes. And I am going to start that pot on my oven, and then we're gonna come back to next steps and all this cool stuff I want to tell you about ketchup, because I remember uh, going on a scouts, um, uh, scouts camps, uh, Oh my goodness, the food could be bad, but as long as we have ketchup, we we'll survive. Hello, Jenny. Hello, hello. So question, what was historically the first food called ketchup? Who know that? And I'm going to put this on a small flame um, and uh, allow this to cook for about 20 minutes. So they're going to I uh, put the juices on and they start to kind of mashing and then we're gonna uh, take the next step. But who can tell me what was the first ketchup originally, historically? I can tell ya that wasn't red. Hello, 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 and welcome. So we are cooking those toma tomatoes with no lid. It was before hands, before hands. The ketchup we know right now, the red in the bottles, a paste was uh, discovered by uh, Henry Haynes in 1868 in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. But before he discovered it, and when he discovered this first time, he named that thing cut soup it was a cut soup <laughs> that's right lord lynette that's right fermented fish sauce from sardines very stinky and why did they fish sauce yes sale that's right why they did that uh, this was before refrigeration and this is coming to to roots of American history. It is really, really fascinating because all these people coming from all over the Europe, all over the world with them impact and they still didn't have refrigeration. So the meats will go bad very quickly, but the meat was expensive. So they couldn't afford it uh, to throw out just uh, meat which just start getting bad, right? So for that meat, uh, they discovered ketchup, which was, was a fish sauce, um, very often made with onion. So not really tasty, not really tasty, and was really pretty disgusted, actually. Uh, so uh, uh, Henrik Hens worked on a recipe formula, and because he was making that um, with the base on this fish sauce, fish soup, fermented fish sauce are uh, even better, even more yummy. Um, uh, he uh, finally get to the recipe what we call ketchup. Uh, ketchup is very popular. Uh, ketchup is fantastic to uh, many dishes and we all love it, especially children. On the flip side, um, American Dental Association I have the biggest uh, number one uh, causes of the case on children's from ketchup. So why we make our ketchup? <laughs> First of all, can we have disgusting uh, story, and then uh, it Oli come in here, and then it causes decay in children's teeth, right? Oli, come in here. Thank you. Uh, so. Um, we're gonna make our ketchup from scratch because we are in the peak of the uh, season, of the tomato season. Excuse me, I, let, I have to take care of something. Hey! No! Both of you. Stop. Okay, I am back. The dogs are very frisky. My house smells like tomatoes, so they want to play. I don't know, it's something about it. Uh, so um, uh, having those uh, wonderful, beautiful, homegrown tomatoes, uh, we have control on what we put to it. And what we're gonna do, we are going to 
uh, eliminate that raw sugar which with uh, ketchup which we can buy in store is in very high uh, consistency and is a lot and is just not good for nobody so what we're gonna need also we're gonna prepare right now we're gonna start another pot and we're gonna prepare um, what we're gonna need we're gonna need a, a cider a vinegar apple cider vinegar about uh, 100 uh, milliliters we're also going to need a uh, um, cinnamon stick or two we are going to uh, need a cloves clovers Covers. Goździki po polsku. Hi Gus, you don't like tomato. Spaniards like tomato. You do not like tomato. Thank you. <laughs> and we're gonna need some fresh ground pepper, of course. Um, I'm gonna use a pink Himalayan salt, but if you have better one and you prefer, go for it. We're also gonna need some chopped uh, garlic. Chopped garlic. And we're going, uh, and this is one big um, onion, uh, about, about this size. Nice big uh, white onion. Um, now, you're going to, if you want to have healthy ketchup, uh, you want to use the, uh, coconut oil, or at least, at least uh, avocado olive of oil uh, for your uh, onion and for your garlic to um, uh, get them a little bit of glaze. So what we're gonna do next, we're gonna need smaller pot. So let me stir my pot with tomatoes and let me get a um, let me get a smaller pot. So we're gonna prepare our um, uh, vinegar, which we're gonna add to uh, tomatoes, which we're gonna prepare for our ketchup. So you are not be uh, really lonely. I am going to give you some awesome stuff to think about it because you may want to have them. Lots of them are brand new. We just uh, get from uh, from uh, Kaola Studio, and you're gonna get 20% in store credit, and you're gonna get ketchup recipe. It's very good. I can promise you that. So. Uh, all these wonderful tomatoes, no lid, no lid, and you let them uh, just um, uh, put the juice out, the first juice out. So I have my old little pan and I love it. So we're gonna put a hundred milliliters of a uh, hundred milliliters of um, uh, apple um, cider vinegar. Um, we're gonna put a cloves, uh, about half hand full. Depends of how you like, how spicy. So you are also in charge how spicy your ketchup going to be. Uh, we're gonna put some uh, um, cinnamon sticks. We're gonna also, we're gonna also, and. Oh, I knew I need something, I didn't tell you. You need, of course, the bay leaf and you need the uh, allspice. So um, about two leaves of uh, bay leaf and um, in that many tomatoes, about 10 to 8 uh, allspice, uh, really um, seeds. So we're just going to make this wonderful um, mixture and we are going to uh, cook this for uh, so they gonna go almost to the boil and then we're gonna leave it for 15 minutes so they will uh, get that um, uh, all the beautiful um, um, flavor uh, to the vinegar because we're gonna put that vinegar to our ketchup all right 
Hello, hello, hello to everyone. Let me just put a few more of the balls and we are going to do step two. Okay, so I just, I just let those tomatoes uh, set for a little bit. Well, um, uh, maybe five more minutes and they're gonna really put in that uh, nice juice. Uh, so um, you're also uh, going to uh, want to use some fresh cut basil. You can use majoran, you can use thyme. Um, Oh, my sunflowers, yes, they are, they, they were so pretty in the store, I couldn't resist. But you're gonna need also another very important ingredients which you can start preparing uh, shortly. Uh, you won't take one large carrot and parsley root and you won't uh, just uh, have them in those very, very little chunks, just so um, shredded very nicely and we're gonna add to our tomatoes and uh, as well um, when they start to be uh, really nice and mushy really nice and mushy now as we're preparing all these good um, ingredients and the tomatoes are starting juicing up and I should probably start them uh, maybe 10 minutes before uh, our live but i won't show you how many tomatoes really tomatoes i have uh, so right now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take my pan i'm gonna take my pan and i'm gonna take my uh, coconut oil and coconut oil is really really good for you much better much better then um, regular oil of course so um, it is keto proof so I'm gonna put just two uh, spoons you can buy it in any store um, you're gonna see that virgin coconut oil and um, I really gonna to use um, instead of sugar you can use any malesa if you like I am going to use a uh, um, coconut sugar as well uh, so let me just uh, make a few more oh listen guys those handlebars I just posted this is the one and this is the one I had just a second ago they will be fantastic uh, for your tomatoes if you pick them and you want them to to rape a little bit more and be nice and juicy and red and almost too red that's what you, uh, that's uh, that's the tom tomatoes you like so let me just start on this and i'm gonna mix um stir a little bit the tomatoes you have to stir your tomatoes um every so often like uh every three four minutes first and then just lower the uh lower the uh, flame and let them slowly cook and just time to time mix them i start my first batch let me start that let me start that. Okay, so my um, my vinegar is ready. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cover my vinegar and I let this saturate uh, with all those wonderful flavors from all the spices we are using. And what we are using, we use cinnamon stick, uh, we need some clovers, we need bay leaves and uh, uh, English spice. So, um, um, hmm. Uh, so, um, so anyway, um, with um, with uh, uh, I pre chopped my uh, my onion. So this is a one big onion, and then um, one big uh, garlic. Um, uh, one big garlic clove uh, you might do two it depends how you like it depends how spicy you would like to have your uh, uh, your ketchup and um, let me just get you a few more oh look at the next dish the next dish will be so nice to put something and your homemade ketchup on the middle this will be fantastic okay so 
there we go there we go very nice i'm gonna mix the tomatoes i'm gonna show you guys the tomato pot look how look how juicy they are you see they are already juicing up so excellent we need them to get a little bit softer we need them to get a little bit softer all right okay so as i have my onion going and my garlic going we're gonna pick some basil and for that many tomatoes you may pick about 40 basil leaves uh, it will be nice um, nice ratio um, uh, with those tomatoes as you have those tomatoes right now cooking you have few options what you can do you can use them all for your ketchup or you can use part of them you can use part of them for your um, uh, for your tomato soup or tomato soup concentrate so um, I show you what I did with mine I did some of the ketchups and I show you my ketchup and I did some of uh, my juice for later for, um, for winter when we don't have access to nice uh, fresh produce so I am going to leave my um, Oh, those looking good. Those looking good. So we're gonna put just my basil. Those little uh, little balls are so fantastically handy. Do you guys like little balls? I love it. I absolutely love it. So I made um, I made this is look how beautiful is that juice. This is from the uh, German boys, and uh, I may also so one two thirds I used for my juice. Uh, and this is gonna be fantastic for tomato soup. And um, I make also some uh, ketchup. And I'm gonna show you my ketchup. And I make some tomato sauce as well. So you really can, um, you really can um, um, get, oh, hold on, maybe now I, I'm not gonna be able to open. Yeah, I pick up this very well. Now I cannot open. Okay, this one, that's all right. So very nice, very nice paste. Nice and spicy. And the ketchup is very thick, but I cannot open. Maybe later, maybe we're gonna set for a little bit. Uh, so what is going on in here? I am just going to the tomatoes guys look at the tomatoes almost all covered with the juice and what we are 10 minutes talking so there we go I want them all being a little bit kind of soft mix 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 my onion mix my onion and we have pre-cut our basil so the next step are uh, going to be um, processing the tomatoes um, so we can get all the skin out and uh, all the rest going to be cooking uh, it is a long process with a um, with a I'm gonna put you a few other uh, pieces um, with all those um, but I will recommend, I will recommend, I start mine um, yesterday evening, like nine o'clock, I just put the tomatoes, I read something, I, you know, get up, stir it, sit down, read, work a little bit more, or watch something, stir, stir it, let them really, really uh, kind of get all this juice out, and then um, um, process them, and then I cook them more, more, more for evaporation some recipes are calling for up to 10 hours of cooking depends of the uh, paste uh, consistency you want to get uh, but it is really really worth it 
it's really worth it. If you are not in a rush, and look at those fantastic balls I am uh, right now uh, showing you 20% uh, in store credit, and you're gonna get the recipe with it. Um, those are also wonderful to put your fruit uh, around, especially the fruit you don't want to stack on each uh, on top of each other because will bruise. Uh, so if you are lucky and you have lots of tomatoes or maybe your friend or your neighbor have beautiful harvest, uh, that will be absolutely fantastic. That will be absolutely fantastic. I want to show you something as, uh, as well. Look at this. This is the deal heads. I am telling you always. Hold on. I have to um, take care of that onion. All right. So this is a beautiful deal head, and look how gorgeous it looks just with the beautiful flowers. And you can keep it, I have mint in here. So that's what I was saying. That's what you want for your pickles to put with the horseradish leaves. So I was, and it smells so good. All your kitchen smell wonderful when you have, you have uh, and absolutely, one more, one more time, with the Tai Shia decoration of a green, this will be perfect, I uh, just green in that little vase. It will be absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. This one almost came to the seeds, but will still be good. You see the seeds? Super cool. So you want that nice yellow, uh, that uh, greenish yellow color of, uh, of the head uh, for your pickles. All right, I think uh, my onion is ready. Yes, yes. All right, so you do not want that onion to be too brown. You just want it to be nice and golden. So I am just, this is onion and garlic. Some people like to do first uh, three minutes of um, glazing onion and then adding uh, maybe a garlic later because sometimes garlic can give you that uh, really, um, um, precise, uh, precise kind of taste, um, kind of bitter taste. So, um, but my uh, mine is very sweet. I, I used it before and I didn't have that uh, that uh, issue. Thank you, Chris. It is go. I love it. I love the deal heads very very much. Okay, so we have this done. Okay. Let's go check, let's go check on our tomatoes. Our tomatoes are pretty good. I'm gonna give them about uh, another five minutes and then we are going to uh, make sure the skin is out from them, okay? So let me just give you a few more cute uh, pieces uh, you may find handy. Uh, a lot. If you have any questions, uh, go for it right now. Oh, look, I have even a raffle baker. Hmm, I wonder what we can use this. If you make a nice um, pasta, a tomato pasta, you can use it for lasagna. <laughs> very, very great. And of course, uh, why, I put, why I pick those nine inch nesting balls? Um, because when I was making my juice and I realized that's way too much juice I will need all winter long. I decided with all this beautiful harvest, I can make a sauce and I can I can make a um, ketchup. Uh, so um, I was using uh, for um, processing my tomatoes, I put my processor on top of the bowl. And I'm gonna show you how I did that. Okay, so I'm just going to grab my big bowl, my Mojaki bowl. I love those big bowls. I absolutely love them. You can also use the nine inch bowl and um, just basic food, um, uh, food processor and just, um, I was just separating all the skin uh, from um, from those tomatoes. 
so I'm not gonna do this because we're gonna use I just gonna use the pot I have this cooking otherwise I will have again so many dishes to clean right but we're still playing with our Polish potter okay so this is pretty what I have in here let's go put this back okay I'm gonna speed up a little bit but um, give it a few minutes so it's not gonna steam out here so what I will just do I will just put my tomatoes and starting separating them just so all this and this is perfect this is perfect look at that actually we're gonna use the bowl I think look at this it's going so fast look how soft they are already you see there we go I know Cory tomatoes you love tomatoes you have so many tomatoes are so good for you also they have um, the ketchup uh, ketchup have a more uh, stronger way to transform all those good uh, um, minerals uh, tomato have uh, to your system uh, that's what I read about the ketchup so especially homemade ketchup um, so look at this it is this is like very very quick very very quick so you are doing it's gonna take you maybe 10 five minutes let me put you some more balls there we go another one you can buy this on Amazon overnight or you can go to any grocery store and you get that food uh, uh, how you call it food processor this is not the word food what is it who helps me nobody talk to me today there we go look how nice and look you have all the skin majority of the seeds i am using the smallest grain of the drainer in here look and that's what you're going to and then you're gonna cook this for another good hour on a small medium you don't want boiled you don't want boil but you for 30 minutes Food masher, okay, yes, food masher or food grinder, that's the word I couldn't. Thank you, Loretta, for your help. Food mashers for meal, food meal, yes. Uh, on my box is saying food grinder. Uh, so, um, uh, for about 30 minutes, when you separate all those, when you have majority of your tomatoes, you know, if one or two stay, they're gonna just cook out completely. Uh, so, there we go. So for majority of your tomatoes, that's that's just what you want to do. And then after 30 minutes of slowly cooking uh, that um, um, meal tomatoes, you meal them from the cores, from the seeds. You're gonna have some seeds, of course you will, but you know, those are homegrown tomatoes. Those are good seeds. You don't want to throw them away. I was asking my friend, I said, hey, what do you do with whatever you have left in your meal, right? And she goes, well, you know, snap strudels like them, deer like them. And that's all basically you can do. My family calls that food meal a, a meal a pass by. <laughs> there we go. That's a good name, I think. Anyway, anyway, after 30 minutes we are going to add uh, that um, um, okay let's go back up once when we're gonna separate all that then we're gonna add our shredded uh, fresh carrot and i mean big carrot if you don't have big carrot use two and um i use half of uh pretty good size of uh, parsley, parsley root and, um, and you also can use celery it's all to your tasting and experience you can make all kinds of badges of ketchup 
and um, the first one I make, I am giving away because it's too spicy for me. I uh, used some of the uh, spices I brought from Italy last year and boy oh boy, that pepper over there, too strong for me. My husband loves it, of course. So I'm gonna bring my ketchup to Poland because you know, we always bring something so we can share. As I cannot, I do not have time to cook in Poland. They're gonna love the ketchup. They're gonna have ketchup from Kentucky tomatoes. This is gonna be heat of the party. I am telling you. So, who of you as a child love the ketchup? Who of you as a child love the ketchup? So there we go. So we have all this separate and don't forget about all this good stuff in here under your uh, strainer, okay? This is this is the, the most wonderful stuff you wanted. I don't like spicy neither and I cannot have spicy. Look, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Hold on. I am going to give you guys, I'm going to give you guys a few more beautiful pieces you can purchase. There we go. <laughs> Loretta still do. I remember uh, all my uh, guy friends in scouting, if we don't have ketchup, oh, they were unhappy. Oh, they were cranky. So you know what I'm gonna do in here? I don't have compost, uh, so I'm just going to uh, take those out. There we go. I have too much of the too much of the skin floating and it's gonna overflow in a second. There we go. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Uh, what you do not want to do, you do not want milk your uh, tomatoes opposite way. You don't want to do that. Uh, so I am almost done. So you know I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna finish. This is, you can also use a um, uh, mm, different spoon, the slotted spoon. So uh, you're gonna catch those tomatoes better and not as much of juice. But look at this, I have almost soup. So can you see why, uh, um, why um, Mr. Hans uh, named uh, his first ketchup? Uh, soup. It was a cat soup. It was a uh, tomato soup. This was the this was the first uh, this was the first uh, name for the ketchup. The, look at that. Okay, I am pretty happy. You know, um, let me just let me just grab another spoon in here. All right, because the next step we're gonna do with this batch of our. Uh, strain tomatoes look you see the juice go out the skin is almost coming out super cool love it this is like no time this is like 20 minutes and you can just do something going around and you know what you can if you have so much you're gonna make um sauce for your um uh, uh, for your um pasta maybe or lasagna tomato sauce you can make jars uh, the juice and pickle the uh, the jars and um just have it uh for later on and make delicious and uh nutritious tomato soup especially in winter time very very good for ya hold on because i have some awesome balls in here look what is coming now the six uh, inch ball this will be great ball for your uh carrot and parsley because right now we're almost ready to add them to our to our ketchup okay okay all right and we are going to no Cory, Cory so want that tomatoes, I'm telling you, poor dog. She's like poor starving dog. I know you're I know you know I'm talking about you. Alright. Okay. 
I just want to make a set in here. Okay, so I have pretty nice milled tomatoes. Um, I didn't do maybe too good job. I have maybe a piece or two, but you know what? I don't worry because they're going to dissolve themselves. So I, what I'm going to do right now, I am going to add my uh, onions. There we go. And garlic. Very, very nice. Uh, we're going to uh, salt. We're going to salt and I'm going to start with one teaspoon of salt in here. I am going to give it a good uh, splash of pepper, fresh ground pepper. And this is the time we are going to drain our um, vinegar, our vinegar. I'm just gonna keep all those smells wonderful and as you're gonna be making uh, your ketchup mixture you may decide to maybe use more vinegar than the recipe says then I told you I told you 100 100 uh, milliliter of the of the uh, vinegar and now we are gonna get at uh, the carrots and um, the carrots and parsley. There we go. Nice. And it starts to look like that. So what's gonna happen for next hour or so, even two, um, time to time you're gonna mix that and all this water going to evaporate, going to evaporate. So I'm gonna put this on the stove and it's going to cook for good, um, let give this another 10 good minutes when we start to all mix together. And then you can add your basil. Uh, you also can add, what, what do you think you can add? What, what more, what, uh, what herbs we could add in here? Let me just, uh, look what I have, a perfect bowl for raping tomatoes, for getting tomatoes to come to uh, that uh, nice red color. That's a wonky bowl. That's a wonky bowl. Um, So for sure, we can uh, <clears throat> we can take a deal, a wonderful fresh deal. Just chop it. We can use what else we can use. What you guys will use? We can use thyme. We can use uh, jasmine if you have. Everything that is good for sauces will be really, really good. And I think it's super fun to play with the flavors and just get to the consistency and get your family involved and let them tell you which batch is the best, but keep your notes because otherwise you are not gonna be in another hands. Uh, you may beat them. <laughs> Horseradish. You could do actually horseradish leaves, I think, or it will be, if you like spicy, um, I think spring of rosemary, oh, I like that. Spring of rosemary will be very nice. I don't think I have rosemary in here, uh, but I have um, um, uh, green parsley, uh, so, so I'm gonna mix that as well. I'm gonna mix that as well. So you see how uh, often I am using all those little little bowls. They are so cute. The six and a half, 
uh, like uh, that Zaquade six and head balls. Um, those are fantastic. You can just uh, use them every day, over and over. Not only for your cereal or ice creams, like we used to say, right? But I like Trudy, I like the rosemary. And just um, blend those all together. There we go. This is the best ever. Mm -hmm -hmm. Lemon, you can, but, but. And I thought about that uh, Lynetta too. Um, but uh, Loretta, I'm sorry. Um, I think the vinegar it is increasing evaporation and speeding up a little bit the process. So absolutely, um, you can get lemon, lime too. But I think at that minimum on the vinegar, um, the apple cider vinegar, and the most of the recipe call for apple cider vinegar. So um, I think it's kind of fun and uh, to uh, kind of develop the ratio your family like right uh, so um, spring of uh, spring of rosemary this is a good name for decoration spring of rosemary <laughs> so uh, oh, I have one of the big balls uh, which I was showing you uh, what I was using from beginning but I am going to add the, this wonderful uh, fresh uh, veggies uh, veggies uh, uh, herbs to my um, uh, to my pasta um, let me just show you what is happening in here I'm gonna show you what is happening in here it's starting um, making the bubbles all right so when we're gonna and right now is also a good time I like to add some uh, teaspoon of uh, uh, paprika, red pepper, sweet red pepper, very nice, and by adding and all this carrot and all the uh, um, all the persley, um, they become an onion, they just gonna melt, they just going to melt, there we go, and we're just gonna mix, and let this uh, cook slowly on a um, on a slow uh, a slow um, uh, on a low medium low low um, for good two hours to evaporate as much. You can make that thickness as much as you like. Spot. All right, this one is cooking since in the morning. I have three hours in the morning and I have two hours in evening. So this is about my ketchup. Uh, and you see I have that, I start from here. So this is how much evaporation you're gonna get. And we are going to blend. I think I can blend with not making big mess. We'll see. We'll see. So what I'm gonna use the perfect tool uh, is that and just blend this nicely. I'm trying to be splash. There we go. Radish with make with cocktail sauce. Also jam. Hmm. There we go. Yeah, I was thinking about lemon and I uh, checked many recipes. You couldn't find lemon anywhere. But you know, it's still a recipe always, right? How this song? Almost. Let me 
see. Let me see. Whoops. I have too high flame in here. There we go. Now it's better. All right. So this looks pretty good. This looks pretty damn good. I'm gonna taste that. Nice. Maybe a little bit of salt. And um, before you uh, gonna do the final um, blending, you do want and some pepper. You do want um, uh, prepare your if you want um, put them to the jars. To uh, three months, you can put this uh, ketchup in your refrigerator. If you're just gonna put it to the jar, um, um, which you uh, first treat with uh, boiled water, nice and clean. But if you want it for longer, you have to uh, pasteurize. You have to pasteurize. So you think that look awesome? It is so good. I am telling you. Mm, nice. I'm gonna give this a little bit more of blend because what you're gonna do for that three months in your refrigerator, if you have, and I do, I prepare my, I prepare my jars. Oh, this is so awesome. Very creamy, it's starting getting creamy. So look how many tomatoes. This was about the same amount I used. I didn't add any sugar yet, Lois, but good call. I don't know, maybe those tomatoes are not as, maybe those tomatoes are not as um, sour, but absolutely, this is hot right now. So let's go see if we're gonna add sugar. I don't know. I wouldn't. But I'm gonna do two. Just two. And blend a little. Just so everybody are happy and everybody likes it. I'm gonna mix it. This is hot, and you won't put your hot ketchup. Oh, this is beautiful! You won't put your hot ketchup. Thank you, always. I forgot about sugar. You could put the sugar also just before you took it uh, from your um, uh, from your uh, uh, to to blending. Um, just before blending, but this will work too. Mm, good. I like it. Um, some like ketchup over rice. Yes. In Pittsburgh, ketchup is with every fries, and fries goes on everything. No, uh, this was actually not brown sugar. This was a coconut sugar. Coconut sugar. I'm gonna talk about it in a second. So, brown sugar, for instance, have, where are my back? I show you, I show you. That, and this is brown sugar. Okay. All right. Organic coconut sugar. Organic coconut sugar versus uh, organic light brown sugar. So, the calories. 15 in one tea, uh, teaspoon in brown sugar, 30. Uh, we have total sugars 8% and uh, includes um, total um, carbohydrates 16. So it is about half, so it's better. And it tastes very nice and sweet. Uh, I like it. And using the um, coconut, um, coconut um, virgin coconut oil, to glaze uh, the mm, to glaze the um, onions, uh, 
that just makes sense. All right, so in this punct, I will take my ketchup, and it's really nice, really creamy, beautiful, and hot. You want to put to your jar hot. You may buy smaller jars, um, and you just have to, after, you know, sometimes in your refrigerator, if you don't pasteurize, pasteurization will um, require, uh, it will require um, a boiling. As you guys know, uh, cleaning everything with the alcohol. So um, you do want to leave. Oli, go away. We're not playing in here, Oli. Um, you do want to leave a little bit room because you're gonna close. You're gonna put this up and down. And that's what you, and that's how you are going to prepare your ketchup. And you can share with your friends. You can enjoy for up to three months like that. Uh, it's healthy, it's yummy and you make it, and if you are um, gifted by uh, Mother Nature with so many delicious tomatoes from your garden, you really uh, uh, can, with the one process of doing it, uh, you can uh, get a uh, ketchup made, you can have your pasta made, uh, you can um, you can just um, get all the juice and make uh, to with no vinegar and no sugar for your uh, just put some basil um, for your tomato soup. So uh, if you have any questions, I am I am having some little right now little balls which are great for all those little ingredients. Gus won't say hi. Come on, Gus. Come on, come on, Gus. Gus won't say hi. It's nothing for gas in here. I'm sorry. No sausage. No, no sausage. I know you will eat tomato if I will give it to you. Cory, he's not getting anything. Gas, go out. Go out. All is watching you. Yeah, they all watch if you are not snatching anything from the stop, uh, from the table. They know he can reach and they watch him. They watch him. Uh, so um, all those little balls are fantastic for, um, you know, when you cook. Oh, he's very sweet. Oh, he's a good boy. He has just a very, very jealous brother, little English Springer Spaniel brat. <laughs> he doesn't look real. He is real, believe me. <laughs> Especially when he's very excited and he jump um, and, uh, with excitement, not on me but jump like, you know, like a horse. Uh, really, he's galloping like a horse. So all those wonderful balls, I have some balls with cats, for the cats lover, you guys gonna save 20% to your store credit. And if you purchase today, uh, uh, we will ship the recipe for, um, uh, for, the, for the ketchup. I encourage you to trying. It's really good. Let me just get some in a, a little uh, bowl, a little bowl. I'm gonna get you another bowl, another cat bowl. How fun is that? Mm -hmm. And look at that. You know, the uh, little, uh, the measurement, cup, measurement cups, also fantastic as a ketchup. Uh, and this is perfect for ketchup. This shell bowl is just perfect for ketchup. I have only nine, only nine. So you can, uh, you can get your fries. What a great ketchup. Mine is kind of coarse. You can do more grinding. You can, you may choose. You may choose to, if you want more kind of pasta consistency, um, you may choose to um, your mixture of tomatoes after um, running this through the uh, food meal. Uh, you can put a um, you can uh, still get them through the um, strainer and strain them a little bit more even and kind of get all the seeds if you don't like that. I think it's uh, very original. And this is another perfect, um, right now, this is another perfect um, ketchup, especially homemade ketchup dish um, from Zakwady. 
So 20% is going to your store credit and you are getting your uh, recipe from me. And uh, this is also great ketchup little dish and six and a half or five or five inch. And this will be it. I hope I did it. I don't think I make a big mess. So, <coughs> excuse me, that's a pepper. So my ketchup, which I make um, on Sunday, it is uh, lacked so well, I'm not gonna open it because this one is that uh, very, very spicy one and I am bringing this one to Poland. But uh, this is really, uh, really pretty. This is very, very nice. I leave this for maybe 30 minutes like so till cool off then flip this up let that um let that uh lid kind of pop back and enjoy it just uh plus uh just uh, pay uh, attention because this is a natural product have no preserves at all have even no sugar you see why you adding why the bakers are adding sugar to uh to the yeast uh, to uh, for yeast to grow uh four times quicker and it's not healthy for us it's just not good for us so um guys uh this is uh the magic of ketchup uh, by uh cooking in, uh, with anna me uh, i love the ketchup uh, i have so many great memories with ketchup and i love the word ketchup and i spell it with k uh, for all of you who would like to meet me i gonna be uh, next friday uh, not this coming Friday, not tomorrow, but next Friday, I'm gonna be in uh, Rich, uh, Richfield, Michigan, uh, with um, uh, supporting our sale the entire her reading of her uh, book um, and uh, also her uh, colleague book. Uh, the two uh, books in English coming about Polish heritage, Polish stories. Uh, both of the books having place in. Uh, the stories are uh, taking place in Poland and in Michigan, so really, really uh, encourage you. I hope to see uh, lots of you guys. And tomorrow we're gonna have um, and tomorrow we're gonna have a, a happy hour from our warehouse. And Sunday we have part three. I have absolutely amazing pieces from Kaola and Taisha. I kept those awesome ones to the last show. <laughs> and um, I hope you enjoy. Um, life is imperfect, so you know I'm not professional cook. I just, uh, along with my heritage, camps uh, the traditions and the recipes in kitchen, and and, and that's I think uh, uh, is uh, our duty to uh, share to other generation and share with people uh, who you love, and you are part of my world. So. Uh, uh, thank you for joining me in my kitchen. Uh, your um, uh, your 20% uh, store credit is going to be valid for another two hours. And uh, everybody who's going to buy today those items from this selection is going to receive a first ever printed recipe from Cooking from, with Anna. Uh, ketchup. Thank you so much. Ketchup for Polsku. In Polish is ketchup with K. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Peace, love, and Polish pottery. And I will see you guys tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Good night. Uh, happy.